Hey everybody, Mike Wood here with Wild Utah Edibles. I know this isn't the uh, the best audio. I'm just using my computer audio, but I wanted to get something out there, uh, and uh, I'm limited uh, <laughs> today because my one day off, and I've got uh, a lot of things going on. Don't have time to run up in the mountains and uh, make a, a wonderful video. Uh, but I had some thoughts. I, I've heard uh, from a few of you with uh, um, feedback about the uh, the retreat. And so I just wanted to throw some ideas out there uh, and see if, if there's something different that might intrigue some of you. I've had some email me over the past month saying, hey, are you going to do a tour? When's your next tour? Are you going to do any winter tours? I would love to get out and do that, guys. But the truth is, I'm I'm working a lot like you are. Uh, I'm very busy. And when I have a day or two off, my wife likes to have me around the house. I don't see her much. I work long days when I am working. Uh, I don't see the kids. I want to see my family. And so for me to take time to go out and, and do the tours, is, is a, it's a sacrifice. And so I'm trying to put something together where... I can afford to take time off work and you give you guys the instruction that you want, but I want to do more than just a, a couple hour tour. And I want you to understand, I hope you guys realize <clears throat> the sacrifice that this is, you know, I've, I've been learning everything that I share with you over more than a decade here to, to gather all of this knowledge and information and, um, and impart it to you. And I think many of you understand uh, that and, and you you recognize the value of it. Uh, a few of you feel like everything should be free. And, you know, I respectfully uh, invite those who feel that way, just unsubscribe from my newsletter because that's not what I'm about. I, I you know, subscribe to me on YouTube and you can see anything I do up there free, but if I'm going to go do a tour, uh, I want to be uh, compensated for it. So what I'd really like to do, especially during these winter months, this is the time when we need to recognize the need for more preparation. And so I would like to spend at least a full day showing you details of what can be harvested, <clears throat> what we can do with it, and how to do it. And it's not something that can be done with just a, a short tour. Most of my short tours are strictly identification. We talk very little about using the herbs or there just isn't time for it. If we're doing two hours, I can go through and, and show you 10 to 20 different plants or more, but that's about it, right? But if we can take some time to come together in a, a longer setting where we're, we're spending time looking at each individual um, plant, uh, seed, uh, you know, root, whatever it is, and go through the process of implementing that into your daily routine, that's where it's going to make a difference. And I've talked a lot about this with, uh, with many of you and in some of my emails. When it comes to survival, uh, a lot of people, uh, I feel like, come to me and they they want to learn this stuff for survival reasons, right? Um, if everything breaks down, then I want to know what plants I can eat. Nature is not fast food, guys. That's not the way it works. You've got to prepare ahead of time. And if you're not prepared ahead of time, it doesn't matter if you have a smattering of knowledge from, from one or two tours or something out there. You're going to be some of the first to go. And that's that's the bottom line. Uh, there's going to be a lot of starvation, a lot of sickness in the first month if there's a total grid down type of situation. And we've got to be more prepared than than just basics. And uh, I, I refer uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this uh, out there, but I refer to those who who don't want to go out in the rain, who don't want to go uh, out when it's muddy, who don't want to go out in the cold. I refer to you guys as fair weather foragers. Uh, this is something that, hey, you're, you're comfortable with the life the way it is right now. Um, and this is an activity to, to fill the time and, and something fun to do. Um, but if it's miserable out, then it's no longer fun and, and you don't show up. 
Uh, and that's, that's a little frustrating for me because I don't mind going out and spending a week camping in the winter. I can do that and enjoy it. But here's the thing about this. Winter campouts, one night, it's miserable. Two nights, yeah, maybe the second day isn't as bad unless you know that you're going home that day. And then two days, it's miserable still. But if you're out there five to six, seven days, those first, the first day or the first two days, you're going to be a little bit miserable. You're going to be, you know, it's, it's cold. You're, you're kind of learning to acclimate to everything. And then after that, then the fun begins because then you, you kind of acclimate, you, you get comfortable with it as much as you can. Um, you start learning how to take care of yourself. Uh, we, you know, we've got the fires, we've got some shelters, things can happen. So the only way to really do something where we're going to have a, um, an outdoor training situation, whether it's winter or summer, doesn't matter. It's got to be multiple days. It's got to be a whole week. And if I'm going to take a whole week off, I need to be compensated more than just a week's worth of work because there's, there's just more that goes into it. That's the way it's going to be. So I hope that you understand that. I hope that, that you can recognize that and that those who are interested uh, we'll still be interested with, with that idea. So here's what I propose. Um, I, I've heard from some of you uh, that uh, you, you have things in life that you're not sure if you can come to the retreat that I had scheduled for January. Um, others uh, have stated that uh, uh, you don't want to be the only one. And so you're not jumping in there to, to purchase uh, and be the first because what if nobody else purchases? Uh, and I assume that there are some, since I know I've heard from a few of you saying all of this should be free, that there are a few of you worried about the, the money situation. This is, so this is one of those areas, man, I just, I wish I could share the knowledge and the understanding that, that I have. I still have those, those fears and worries. I, I go through that all the time. Right. <clears throat> but for me, I spend less time in the down, fear, doubt, worry area. And I've learned that that our minds can do, literally create our reality. Okay? I see that over and over and over with small things to big things. I'll give you just a prime example. I, I recently uh, uh, found a gentleman uh, walking on the side of the street and gave him a ride and thought, I want to do more. And so I offered to, to do more for him, ended up uh, talking to him a lot, finding out a situation. And um, and he'd uh, recently lost his car. And so I thought, OK, I want to get him a car. And so I did a little fundraiser and uh, um, sent out to many of my contacts and we raised money to buy him a car. And then one of the uh, one of my contacts, a cousin of mine, donated his car. And so now he's got the money and the car. But as I've gotten to know him, he every day I was driving him to work, picking him up, and I was hearing constant, almost constant complaints about things in his life, <clears throat> um, where he's living and, and the way he's treated and, uh, oh, this happened that was bad and this happened that was bad and this bad thing happened and all of these things. And one of them that, that really tipped me off was... I took him to, to work one day and he was kind of flustered and hadn't slept well, I think. And, and he's got all this stuff on his lap and he's getting out of the car, out of my truck to, to go to work. And accidentally, as he was grabbing everything, my charger cable for my, um, for my phone was tucked into his arm here. And as he got out with all of his stuff, he ripped that out of the, uh, the connector in the car and it broke it. And that was a light bulb for me. You know, a small thing. I'm not worried about it. I can replace that. No big deal. But all of these things, these cascading problems that he's continually talking about, it's happening because of the mindset. <clears throat> How often do we do that in our lives where we have a lack mindset? 
there isn't enough, there's not enough money, there's not enough food, there's not enough, the economy's bad, there's a recession, there's a depression, there's war. We focus on all of this negative so much that the creative side of our brain literally cannot work. It, it shuts down, okay? Now, this is something I learned decades ago from a mentor of mine. The human brain, literally, they've done scientific studies on this. The human brain literally cannot be both creative and negative or, or uh, um, analytical, analyzing at the same time. So he was teaching me brainstorming. And he said, when you brainstorm, you've got to allow everything, all options, all creativity. You've got to keep your mind completely open because the second you say no to an idea, the creative side of the brain shuts down. Now, if we're talking things that sensitive with, with brainstorming, think of how that affects the rest of your life. Um, when I created Viper Shark, I would lay in bed at night close my eyes and just calm, forget every other thought and think about the problem I was having. I, I've got to design something that fixes this issue. How can I do it? And I would just go over that in my mind and I would create the, the product in my mind until I could see it all fitting together and working. And then I would finally go to sleep. And then the next day I had that up here. I had created it and all I had to do was bring it into the physical world. And I did that. Okay. And, and it, it worked out great. And I was able to, and it was hard. It was a lot of hard work, no doubt about it, but I was able to take it to Kickstarter and bring in $42,000 for that product to get, to get it launched and, and get it going. Now in the last year that has waned a bit that that product and I haven't put the energy that is needed into making that a full-time thing. Uh, and there are a lot of challenges to it there. A lot of things that have kind of dampened that that creative side, that marketing side. And so now I find myself working. However, I have that background, that understanding and Kickstarter came to mind. So for those of you who don't understand Kickstarter, don't know what it is, Kickstarter is a website where people can come in and pledge and say, I will donate this much. I'll, I'll, I'll pay this amount if this succeeds, you know, if we meet a goal in here and then they get the product to, for that price. Um, but they're only charged if the goal is hit. And so I thought, well, maybe I could do something like that with this. So all of you who are out there and think, well, I don't want to be the only one there or or, uh, or any of those concerns. What if I were to do an option where we have a one day with maybe a two day retreat option so that we can at least have a full day where we do some foraging. We get out there. We see what's there in winter. And we spend the first half of the day, an hour or two, maybe three, probably three, three hours out there doing that. We do a little bit of uh, uh, shopping for some lunch and things to, to put together. And then I bring all of the tools to work with, the to show you what can be done with these foods from winter. And we have an indoor location where we can go in the afternoon uh, and evening and talk about and demonstrate what can be done with these things. So I would be willing to do something like that. and. I, I would like to charge $200 per person for a full day type of a situation like that. I hope that many of you feel like that's worth it, that that's, that that's valuable. That's what my retreat basically was, was a three day thing with $200 per day. So what if we do it just one day and I could put up a, a Kickstarter where I can offer the first five or 10 who jump in I can offer it at 150 bucks. I was thinking 10 people. If I could get 10 of you at 150 bucks, that would be worth it to me to rent the facility, to prepare all the stuff ahead of time, to, I'm not gonna provide lunch. You, you know, you'll have to buy your own lunch with that, but but we could do that. We could go and we could get some, some lunch products and bring them back and, you know, make a lunch together or something. Uh, or Or anyway, bring it together. So that's an option. And then we could do a second tier. After those 10, if there are others who want in, I feel like we could do this with 
if we're just doing it, not an overnight, just a single day, we could do up to 30 people comfortably. So those who, who aren't the first five or 10 or whatever I do, they'll get in at 175 or 180 or 190, whatever I set it at. Uh, I think the other night I was thinking, you know, I could, I could do 180 and still feel comfortable with that. So we can do the next 10 at 180. Then, then we could do, um, another tier where we say, okay, uh, if you want to, to go, you know, make it an overnight thing. So that we spend the entire day, evening, spend the night there and then have some stuff happening the next morning. We could do that. So basically my thought here is if, I can hit certain levels. If we can get enough interest one day, two day, whatever it is, then I can offer more. So I can have uh, uh, the way Kickstarter works is if you hit a certain level, a certain dollar level that is raised, then you, you offer bonus packages. Uh, um, thoughts, is, the words are escaping me right now, but uh, there's, there's a word for it, you know, but it's basically, uh, uh, you know, we level up and we offer a little bit more. And so that's something that I could do. So that's what I'm asking is I, I want to know, is that interest there? And I could do this uh, for any outing that we do, anything that uh, you guys want to do. Uh, so I've got that idea of a one day foraging um, and instruction type situation. I really want to teach some of you guys, those who are interested about the mindset stuff, because that's where survival starts. It is not about knowledge. It's correctly applied knowledge. And in order to correctly apply knowledge, you've got to have the creative mindset. Okay, there, there are two powers in this world, two powers in the universe. There is fear and there is love. Love is creative. Fear is doubt, worry, you know, all the negative sides, right? And if we're sitting in that negative space too much with our frequency, with our energy, with our thoughts, with our emotions and our feelings, we're going to attract negative things. If we are, on the other hand, learning how to level up and take that, uh, that creative energy that's out there and make that ours and learn to be more creative and to think more creative and to feel more creative, if we can ground ourselves and we can learn those skills, we're going to improve everything. We're going to learn faster. We're going to learn better. We're going to retain more. We're going to be more prepared to deal with hard times, whatever they may be, because we've trained our brain. Our world today is heavily focused on the negative. And we have so much negative input coming in that most of us have lived our lives in that negative side. And so it's, it's a very big challenge to go from that to move to the creative and become more creative. And so I, that's something I really want to teach. I want to share it. And I feel like it applies to the, to the, um, the survival uh, side of things and uh, uh, learning about wild edibles and using them. Okay. I think that we, we've got to have that because it'll, it'll boost your confidence. If you learn to use the creativity uh, you're going to, to work with the things better. It's just, there's so much there. So there are things I want to teach. I, I want to, to be able to go through and, and share these possibilities with you, but it's not something we can do in a couple hour tour. We've got to have something better. We've got to have an indoor facility. I can't do it at home. My wife's got too, too high um, anxiety with all that. And so I've got to be able to go out, rent a place where we can be comfortable and do that. One of you contacted me about a place there in, in PG that uh, I had as an option, but it's it's still kind of an outdoor. But that may be an option too. But I would love to be able to just rent a uh, a house for a day or two and and spend time doing this there. So that's what this whole retreat idea was about. So what I want is feedback from you um, in the comments in this video. Uh, email me however you're seeing this, get back to me, let me know. I'll put a, a, a link in here for, for a form because I love these forms because it gives me the data to go back to and look at instead of scattered in all these different comments and places. I love the comments. I want the emails. I want the text messages. I want the comments on my videos. Great. Do that. Social media, all that stuff is, is helpful to get the word out too. But 
a form like that where I can look at it and say, okay, we've got this many that are interested in these things is very helpful for me. So that's why I use those. So option number one, a full day immersive um, type of a, a, a situation where I'm preparing a bunch of stuff ahead of time and then teaching you guys about foraging outdoors, bringing it inside, how to use those things inside. There's a lot that, that goes into that. And so that's something I'd like to do. Oh, by the way, with, with these retreats, what I would like to do is everybody will receive something. There will be giveaways. There will be uh, useful products that you will receive. And we might do it as a giveaway thing. We might just uh, have, somehow you're going to be receiving tools and, and resources that you can use to do the things that we talk about. Okay. So that's kind of, that's the, the low tier. That's the first thing I, I'm suggesting is I'd like to do something like that with a full day, immersive, uh, interactive uh, activity. In order to do that, I need 10 people at minimum 150 bucks, uh, $1,500 for me to plan, schedule, rent, and do all of this. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Uh, Second option is to extend that to an overnight and two day thing where we can spend a little more time. We don't have to worry about going home to to the you know get in bed and go to sleep or whatever. Drive time. We can spend the night at this location. Um, something like this. If we're just doing an overnighter kind of thing, it's going to be close. It's going to be Utah County, maybe up in Heber Valley. I would love to do that. Um, but it, it's it's not going to be St. George or Berry Lake or something like that. Those would have to be more extended uh, 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 retreats. Okay, so that's the next uh, level. If I can get enough interest and rent a big enough place, then I'm willing to do that and and take it up a notch and go somewhere further for two or three days. So what I'm proposing is that I can set up this Kickstarter or something similar. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is when I do Kickstarter, they take 10%. So that's one thing to keep in mind. They're gonna take 10% of whatever I raise, so I'm losing that right away, okay? Um, number two is Kickstarter is more of a, a worldwide kind of a um, an audience where this is only for those who are interested in you know here in Utah that would be close that would wanna come. So, uh, and then uh, the the other thing that I need you to understand is with Kickstarter, I don't receive those funds until two weeks after the campaign completes. They've got to verify everything. They've got to be able to charge everybody. And so you've got to have all that set up. You've got to register on Kickstarter. And so it's going to take time. OK, so this isn't something where we can set it up today and boom, next week after I raise the funds, we can we can go and do this. It's it's got to be planned out ahead of time. So right now where we're coming up on Christmas and that's where all of your brains are, I don't think January is an option. I, I just don't think that's an option anymore. I've got to be able to schedule the, the time and, and everything. Um, I need to know if there's interest in any of this in order to do that. I could do the end of January or um, into February. Uh, and so that's, see, all of these things, all of these moving parts, they have to come in. So that's the other part is if it's four weeks out, can I set a date after you've committed and you guys be able to say, yeah, I can, I can make that work. I can arrange things. Or do I need to set the date first beforehand and say, this is going to be the date. And then you look at that future date and arrange it, right? And then, of course, um, if if life happens and something comes up, as there's always something right that might uh, occur, uh, and you can't make it, I can't give refunds, right? Because I've expended all of that, uh, uh, you know, time, money, and and everything, renting the place, preparing, buying products, and so we've got to have a serious commitment with these things. So. I want to expand. I want to do more. I want to share all of this uh, with you guys. I'm not in a position where I can just give it away free. 
when that day comes, I'll be happy to do that. I, I, I really will. If that's the, you know, if I'm in that position, uh, I'm more than happy to do that. But we've got to get to, to that point. And that's not the world we live in right now. So I, I hope I let me let me just give a, a review of what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about doing maybe a one day um, uh, excursion where we go out, we come in, we have a full day where we are doing some foraging and talking about using and demonstrating using those products and implementing them into your diet so that you can really gain the knowledge. And then we're also going to bring in some of that mindset stuff with that uh, activity. Uh, and everybody will leave with some of the tools, some prizes, some things that uh, will be valuable um, for you. A single day uh, between $150 to $200 uh, per person. And by the way, on Kickstarter, if I put the level at $150, but you feel like it's worth more, you can choose that $150, but pay $200. So, you know, you can, you can pay whatever you want and choose the level that you want. Um, option two. An overnight two-day excursion where we would spend, and that would need to be probably 15 people or, or more, um, or 10 people that are willing to pay a little more, right? Basically, a, a higher level uh, um, of commitment for everybody, including me. Um, where we we spend the entire day, the evening, uh, um, we, we do lunch and dinner together and and then the next morning, uh, we spend some time uh, in the morning doing some additional activities. Okay, So um, that's uh, the, the second option. And then the third is to do the full three-day scenario, the three-day situation where uh, we can spend more time together doing all of this. And if somebody wants to come just for the first day and that's all they want to do, Great, we can do that. And then if somebody wants to do the overnight, then we can do that. And if somebody wants to do the full three day, we can do that. Now, if we put this together, I will have uh, uh, a friend of mine, one of you watching this probably, Tyler, um, who will be there spending that time with us doing video and recording everything for me. Uh, I, If we do a full uh, three day excursion, there's a good chance my wife will come and be there with me. So, so it's, it's, uh, anyway, there, there's some things to, for you to think about. Uh, these are some ideas uh, of things that I want to do. And this way we can make sure that the, the level is reached before anybody is charged. And if that level is reached, I'm committed and willing to give you guys what I've promised. And if we, reach a higher level, then I'm fully committed to do more. Okay. Um, if I, if I take a, a three day excursion, I'm basically taking the week off work. And so I want more than just being compensated for what I would do at work because there's so much energy that goes into this. Shoot. If all I'm doing is, is trading one for the other, for the most part, I'd rather just work my job that doesn't involve any additional prep and, and thought process and, and creation and, and <clears throat> weeks of work ahead of time, right? Hope you understand that. Um, and then, of course, we could do the same kind of thing for a winter camp out or even the, the summer camp outs where I'm taking you and teaching in the wilderness more of the bushcraft survival skills, okay? So I want to know your interest. What level are you interested in? Are you committed? Um, I've got over 700 people on this email list. And when I send these emails out, I only get about 300 or so opening the emails. So that's a pretty good open rate. That's great. I have a, a very good open rate as far as rates go. But that means that there are a, a large majority of you that aren't even looking at these emails. So you, you you apparently at the time they're sending out either don't see them, they're going to your spam, or you're not interested. Um, and so I, I'm dealing with a smaller pool. And then within that pool of those of you who are opening the emails, not all of you are expressing the interest. You're not all clicking on the links. You're not going to look at this video. Uh, you're not to uh, you know you're not going any further than oh there's an email glance at okay yeah I don't want that. Right. 
And so I've got to know if the interest is there. You've got to know if the interest is there. This crowdfunding Kickstarter type approach is something that might do that. And I would say I would set the the goal if we're going to do a one day thing, I would probably do it on a Saturday. Um, no, I can do it on a Friday. I, I could probably do it on a Friday to Saturday. Um, and again, I want your feedback on that. I know you would have to take off work to to do this too. So, you know, what's where's the interest level again, right? Um, is it better if it's on Saturday? Let me know. Um, is it better if it's on Friday with the potential of having the full day Saturday? Uh, if we could do a three day, would you want it Friday, Saturday and Sunday, right? How do you want this? I need to know that. And so this is what I'm doing is putting it out there to ask you guys to pull my audience to see what would work best. So this is the feedback I'm looking for. Click the link below. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, if you know others that are interested in it, like the video, share the video. Tell your friends about it. Get more interest out there. Let's get more people talking. And if we can bring more interest together, then we can make it happen. A lot of fun things that we can do, especially on the summer trips, getting out there in the in the wilderness. I would love to do that every month, but I've got to have the interest. So let me know your interest. Fill out the form, comment, reply to my email. Thanks for, for being uh, uh, loyal followers, guys. Uh, I look forward to working with you. Have a great day.